Do you buy vinyl? Hi, this is Jerry Cantrell from Alice in Chains, and I'm at Amoeba Music. This is What's in My Bag. What was the first thing? I think it went ZZ Top. Trace Hombres. Awesome record. Waiting for the bus and Jesus Just Left Chicago is just a great opener. Always been a fan of these guys. Just the, the groove, the blues, and also like a heavy rock element to it as well. And uh, I was always amazed by guitar players, so nobody really has quite the tone that Mr. Gibbons has. I love everything that Elton John does, but Madman Across the Water, there's something really magical about this record to me. Just the work itself, the denim artwork, the tracks are amazing. Leave On and Tiny Dancer, Madman Across the Water. I love every, every song on this record. But is it in your conscience? That you're after. Probably the artist that kind of made me want to be a musician, you know, Elton John. So it was the first thing that kind of really got turned on to and, and I got what songwriting was and, you know, feel and emotion. And even though I was just a little kid, but loved Elton John. And uh, this one is, is one of my favorites. I'm a huge Sabbath fan. One of my biggest influences, Tony Iommi on guitar for sure. And just the feel of the band and just the songwriting. Uh, Ozzy's vocals, always creepy and powerful. And then later on in life too, you know, had the connection with him of, he gave us one of our first big breaks opening up for the band and we went out on the No More Tours tour, actually, and they're still touring, by the way. But we got a bass player out of the deal. We got Mike Inez out of, the, out of the deal, so that was a pretty good bonus. I saw this little British Steel Judas Priest coffee mug. Made me think of Dime, Dime Bag. I think this is one of his favorite records and one of mine too. I just thought this would be great to have at home, have a little British Steel for, for breakfast. Got the Beatles, Abbey Road. Of course, you know, masterpiece. As far as exploration and studio and songwriting, this is where it all started. Come together right now. Over me. The artistic output put out in such a short period of time was just amazing to me today. Set a pretty high bar, you know, and it's always trying to fun trying to make something that kind of stands up to something like that, you know. My favorite straight up rock and roll band of all time, ACDC, Highway to Hell. Unfortunately, Bond passed away, but they moved on strongly with Back in Black, which is another hugely inspirational record to me uh, with Brian Johnson. Love this record, you know, Highway to Hell, Girls Got Rhythm, Walk All Over You, uh, Night Prowler is still one of my all-time favorite songs. This is one of my all-time favorite records. Rumors, to me, is, is a masterpiece. I would later, you know, kind of read about the state of the band and the turmoil, and it may, makes more sense when you listen to the material. You can hear all of that in this record. And it's so, it's so alive, and while the band 
maybe personally is kind of falling apart kind of at the same time it's the peak artistic achievement i think in my in my opinion i also got in my bag a couple of little knickknacks both my parents are huge country music fans so i grew up just listening to it when them playing it so i saw I saw Johnny Cash and I saw Willie there. I gotta get these guys, man. Two of my greatest heroes as well. I learned a lot from country artists like these guys. Songwriters, you know, the songs stand the test of time. Also, they had really long careers. He's still rocking, you know. Two icons of country music and two of my favorites. So that's why I picked these up. There we go. That's it, yeah. That's awesome, thank That's you. what I got in my bag, man. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. No problem. Yeah.